Well, hello and welcome to the show. Glad you guys have joined us this week. We are having a really good time. I've got my whole crew lined up on the fence behind me here. We've got a bunch of colts we're starting. We're having a ton of fun, but today we're talking about touching a colt for the first time that's never been handled. That's coming up right here on Discovering the Horseman Within. Gonna take a ride on one true horse. I want to kind of set this up as best as I can. He knows what's coming. Right there. Okay. Now I'll just let him work around here for just a minute. Don't put any pressure on that rope at all. Just, he's scared. He's never had this be a good thing. Just let him work around it. Robert, if you can bring me my horse, we'll just let him kind of work around here. Anytime I can let the pressure down, I will. Okay, Robert, bring me my horse. Thank you, sir. So what I want to do, using the square pen, I'm going to let him run around this pen a little bit. And when I know he's going to stop, there we go. So I bring him down the pen. When I know he's going to stop, I'll push him a little bit, go to that horn, and just get him to give to that pressure. And right here, right there, release that pressure. As soon as those eyes come to me, before he ever starts to really fight, he's struggling to escape, yes, but he's not pulling on me. He's not pulling on my horse. Right here. And he's learning that fast. He didn't have to pull real hard. Hey, okay, right there, there. As soon as I picked that rope up and his eyes came to me, we're right back where we were, right back where we started. I just keep playing this rope right here. When those eyes come to me, he gets a release. I'm gonna ride into him. There's his release. He's already started figuring this out. There's his release. Now granted, right now, I'm sort of making that release happen. There's his release. I'll push him down here. There's his release right there. And he's gaining a ton. Send him around that pen. Right there. I like to stay off at a little bit of an angle where it's easier for both him and my horse. 
You can do this on foot. There's nothing wrong with doing it on foot. I like to work two horses at once. And this is certainly a lot easier on me. we go. Right there. Keep his eyes to me. Right here. There we go. Right there. Critical to me that he constantly gets a release. I like the metal ring on this rope. It gives a big release. I use a rawhide hondo a lot of times because it's big wide open and gives a lot of release. I'm driving him with this rope, touching him all over. Bunch of things he's not really used to. Right here. Right there, as soon as I get those eyes. forward work the other side a little bit right there I don't want him running out of desire to try so I want to make sure he gets a release He's letting me get quite a lot closer to him and kind of drive him here on my horse. And I like that. And he's giving really nice right there. That was really nice. He came around there. Right there. That's what I want to see. He's learning to come to me. Right there. Push him forward. Right there. In a few minutes, really, a couple of minutes, he's had that rope pulled on 10 or 15 times, and he's learning how to give to that pressure. He's walking around here pretty quiet, pretty gentle. Look at that right there. That's with my hand. All I needed was the pressure of my hand, and there he is, right there, seeking that release. Right here, I'm going to bring my hand right there. There's that release. It's so critically important to realize how important the release is. <clears throat> timing is absolutely everything. If your timing is off and your release is off, it's going to make this horse work that much harder. He's going to struggle that much longer. So you got to be really careful with your timing and make sure you look for the reason to release. Early on when he first jumped away from me and, and kind of hit the end of the rope and came back, I only had part of one eye, but that's enough to release on. Now I've got him standing here looking at me and I can almost lead him around with my hand. We've gained a ton. Teaching is probably one of the most joyful things I do in my life. I love to watch people learn. I love to see them change, and I love to see them make life changes, follow their dreams. That's what our apprenticeship program is all about. It's a three-level program. We start at the apprentice level, we move to journeyman, and we finish at the master certification level. That program is about people achieving their dreams. These people, people just like you. That's what they're about. They're here 
learning so that they can go home and create a career in horsemanship. What I want to start doing here is working in closer and closer and working at getting him to follow my horse around a little bit right here. Perfect. He leaves me, my horse will have a little more pull than I will. Bring him back to me. I want to just work in, I want him to let me in closer on my horse. Right there. That's what I want him to see. Right there. He's getting broke to lead without meaning to right now. He's learning to give to that pressure and look for a release. There we go, right there, right there. Right there. As long as he keeps those eyes on me, we're good. Good. Perfect, right there. Good. He's actually almost coming forward on that pressure. You'll see me start crowding him a little bit and you'll watch. I'll just coil my rope as I circle here. All right here, if he thinks he's gonna get away, we just bring him right back. Okay. When you're getting something like that, you just work your way out of it. You don't get too worried about it. There you go. That's why you use a longer rope. You want that opportunity to move like that. Drive him along here, kind of push him. Let him feel those things aren't killing him. Right here, bring that to me. Nice, good boy. Okay. And ride right in here. Yeah, I used my hand that time. I don't need my horse. He's getting so much lighter. Back up here. If he ignores me, use my horse a little bit. There you go. Yeah. We're going to get our hands on him here. It's a whole different game. Good. Get him to yield that hindquarters. Just right there, ask him to step that hindquarters away. We'll just kind of squeeze in here a little bit. And what I'm going to do here is use my horse. When his feet stop moving, my horse stops moving right there. Again, timing. He's got to learn, just like he did when we were roping him, if you'll face your fears, they'll go away. I'll ride in here a little bit more. As he gets a little spooked, I don't really want to get him stuck in this corner. So I'll bring him out of there. So he's got a way out right now. He can go out backwards. There we go. Bring him around. Okay, I've noticed he kind of tends to give to the right more than to the left. But for right now, I'm not going to argue with him about that.
Right there, nice and soft. I like that. Side pass up to him, quit. You want to quit before it's too late. Side pass up to him. Quit. He kind of likes this corner. He gets stuck in it. I don't really want him stuck in this corner when I touch him. I'd like him out away from the corner. I don't mind if he's against the fence, but I don't like him jammed in a corner. Now I'm going to take my horse off here to the left, uh, his left, try to get him to give to the left. And again, he just comes back to the right. That's OK. As soon as those eyes come to me, he gets his release. Get our hands on him here in just a minute. Good boy. Let's take our time here. Okay. All of a sudden he wants to leave again. We're going to kind of remind him of why we don't do that. We go. Push him around. Drive him around there. Right there. Good. When he gets that full release, that rope falls down there. Everything is happy for him. I'm going to kind of crowd on him right here because he keeps running to this corner. I don't want him to get comfortable in that corner where he thinks there's a good escape. There you go. Ben's kind of rubbing on him. I'm going to crawl into his space a little bit. That's all right. Right there, that's the most I've been able to pet him. He's just learning that he doesn't have to be petrified of me. Right there, I'm just pushing my leg right into him. Okay, 
Anytime he gets scared, he bolts. We're just going to stop him and start again. Stand here and let him relax a little bit. And ask Ben to squeeze into him just one more step. There we go. Just rub on him, pet on him. Now all of a sudden, we've gained a whole bunch. I'm crawling right into his space, petting on his neck. Now right there, there's a fly buzzing around here. And it's got Ben nervous. There we go, look at that. There we go, good boy. That's what I want to see. He's learned to accept my presence. He's given the pressure. He's stayed calm. Just loosen this rope up. Take it up off his head and ride away. Let that lesson end. Let that be the end of a really good lesson where he came to where he understood he didn't have to be afraid of me. I was able to touch him. He learned to give to pressure. He learned to lead a little bit. He learned to face his fears. He's had a huge afternoon. I absolutely love the way that ended. I hope you enjoyed this show. And until next time, may God bless the trails you ride. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm surrounded by a bunch of goofballs. Find out more about Ken McNabb horsemanship at kenmcnabb.com. That one true